One of the questions I get after most of my portrait classes is what do I do with skin? Is there a way to easily and quickly smooth the skin a little bit so it doesn't look too crazy? Um, this is a photo that I took at one of my recent portrait classes. We were just walking around taking pictures of our awesome model, Amanda. And number one, my, my first response is, do you really need to do anything to the skin? And I would say that with Amanda, you don't really need to do anything. Amanda has just incredible skin and uh, there's not much that needs to be done. However, if, if you want to, if it's something that your client is asking you to do, then I think that Lightroom uh, Classic or Lightroom, this one, the, the regular Lightroom now, 5.0 gives us some really good ways to do this and to do it at a scale that's not really super destructive and that doesn't make skin look completely smooth over like it does on some magazine covers, which I don't really, I don't like the look of that very much. Luckily, Lightroom gives us the ability to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, you know, the, I get the photo to look pretty good the way I like it. And this looks pretty decent. And what I'm going to do is go in over here to the masking and I'm going to select the brush here. And we are just going to brush into our face. The, you know, the first thing I kind of look at is I zoom in a little bit and I'll just double check on areas that I want to focus on. And uh, after I've looked at it, I'll use the brush and I'll start painting. And it's a new mask overlay. It just gives us a message. Start painting a little bit. I don't need to go into the areas of blur. Just a little bit right there. I don't want to touch the eyes too much. Because the eyes, you want them to be super sharp and stand out a little bit. All right, so now that we put this on there, I can lower my brush. And I'm just using my scroll wheel to lower that. Or I could go over here and change the size. And I'm going to paint into there. And a little bit, do I even need to, probably don't even need to do that, but that looks pretty good. So this is just defining the area that we have selected now as a mask. And don't forget, you can press that on or off to show the overlay or not. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to come over here and we're going to start to change this. So I don't need to mess with the exposure or any of that kind of stuff. I'm going to go down here to where it says texture. And I'm going to lower that. And if I go all the way down, you can see your face start to turn a lot blurrier, right? Which I don't want to do that all the way down. So I'm going to go to a happy medium right there. And I'm just going to go and zoom in and see how that looks. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm looking. And at this point, I'll modify the texture a little bit. And just see how that's affecting the skin. Do you see how it's a lot more gentle? You know, the skin does look a little softer, but it's not completely, completely smooth. If there's ever a time when I want to then take away from some of the selection, like maybe right here, it looks a little bit too smooth. I'll click on the subtract. I'm going to choose another brush and I'm going to smooth, take some of that away and let's show the overlay. So I know what I'm taking away. And I just clicked that right there to show the overlay. And I don't need to make that extra smooth. So I'm going to remove that part. And let's click off. And that looks pretty good by itself before and after my edits. And don't forget that Lightroom gives us the ability to do some cool stuff. So if I want to go into her hair, for instance, and just kind of highlight some of her hair real quickly. If I want to do some adjustments there, I could, if I wanted to use the texture, will soften that. But what I want to do is I want to warm up her hair a little bit so the highlights look a little bit more warm and maybe the whites make the edges of the highlights a little bit higher that looks pretty sweet i like that and you can see the on and off effect of the mask i'm going to uncheck the show overlay that's after the mask and adjustments and before that's not too that's not too shabby that's pretty sweet if i look at up here, I can see the overall mass, the effect of the mass, on or off. If I can just hold and let go, look at that. I can go in and zoom in on the skin. And I'm going to do a little bit less zoom. And I'm just going to do backspace to see what those edits look like. And that skin looks a little bit softer, but not dramatically so, to the point where it looks completely unrealistic. And the eye still looks really sharp, and the hair looks awesome. So Lightroom gives us the ability to do some really quick, easy edits on portraits, especially, you know, if we're not shooting a glamour magazine cover, 
and we want some natural skin texture to be there, but soften it up a little bit. Lightroom now has given us a lot of the ability to do that really easily. Uh, it's always it's done that for a while now, but the new masking controls um, are just more intuitive than they were before. So I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. You know, I made this video because of students in my class asking me questions, and also I received a YouTube comment asking a question about this too, and uh, I wanted to make a video. So if you have any other questions, I would love to make more videos and show you how I do things. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff. We'll talk to you all later.